Well, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Dub Did It coming at you live and direct with another quick video. But this video is going to be extremely valuable to many of my viewers and maybe some of the newcomers. So the question that I get that I haven't even noticed that I've been getting is how much baking soda do I use? For this amount, for that amount, for whatever amount. And to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, there isn't a set amount. Okay, now I don't want to get into the specifics as to why there isn't a set amount. But trust me, the stuff that you're getting isn't pure. A lot of it's cut. So, it's going to vary from potency to potency. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now... I grew up listening to Master P, so I thought for one gram of soda every seven grams of dope. You know what I'm saying? But that wasn't entirely right. At least not for me. It seemed like it was a little too little. You know what I'm saying? So one time I did measure it. You know, like I said, I always eyeballed it. And I, I measured the amount that I was using. And for seven to ten G's, it was probably maybe two grams of baking soda. You know? It was, again, just enough to cover the bottom of the glass. As long as I couldn't see through the glass, it was enough. If I put a little bit more, oh, well, maybe I got a little bit saltier flavor than with, you know, what was usual. But it wasn't that noticeable. You know, as long as you're not putting, you know, half and half, you shouldn't really have a problem, you know. But if you want to ask me, like I said, two Gs. And if you're going to do... Less than that, if you're going to do three to five, maybe you should do a G of baking soda. You know what I'm saying? Less than that, well, you know, again, that's something that you have to eyeball. You know, the point is, you got to use a lot less baking soda than you do. So if you keep that equation in mind, you should be all right. You know, like, I mean, like when people cook it up on a, on a spoon or whatever, what do they do? They just throw in a little pinch. You understand? And all the baking soda does, it, it jump starts the reaction. You're converting, you know, bases to acids and acids to bases and all of this and that. Making one water soluble into one not a solid. It's, it's, there's a lot of science behind it, believe it or not. But, ladies and gentlemen, if it was that complicated, it would not have been the issue that it was, you know, that, that hit the country. You know? So, again, don't worry about actual numbers. Just try to stick to that basic ratio and uh, another thing that I want to clarify, uh, whenever I said two minutes in the micro, that was based off the low-powered microwaves that I, I used. Um, you can do a minute, open it up, check it, put it back in another 30 seconds, open it up, check it, and so on and so on. Like I said, there's, there's nothing specific with this process, and if it was that difficult to begin with, it wouldn't have taken off the way it did. So, you know what it is. Like I said, if you guys have basic questions, hit me up on the email. I check it every Saturday. If you guys want an in-depth tutorial, I'm always on Patreon. And again, I want to shout out to my Patreon subscribers. Man, y'all don't know how much I appreciate you guys. And I get worried because y'all don't hit me up. I'm like, man, they subscribe. You know, I'm putting up what content I can. But, you know, there's a special service that I offer them with that those packages. And that includes one-on-one -on -one help with me. And they don't hit me up. I'm like, oh, man. So, guys, I'm waiting to hear from you guys. I'm always here. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But that's all I got, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back in action. I'm not letting go of this YouTube again. We're going to get back to what we used to. And uh, it is what it is. Dub out.